we are beginning the lesson 44. The page Tet Vav 15. Look how it is uh, noticed the this page, this number, 15, is 9 and 6, in place of Yud and Hey. Otherwise, it must, no, normally it must be Yud and Hey. But because Yud and Hey are actually the name of, a, of the, of Akadosh Baruch, the two first letters, Chochmah and Bina. This, this, that, this, this is why the uh, the official way how to express how to write this is Tedvav. Sometimes there are in in some uh, holy books like let's say in uh, in Tikunei Zohar. Uh, over there, if you, I have uh, an edition, uh, over there, even even if the if uh, a page, let's let's say a page denomination is uh, forms a word that is not good. I mean, not good is not good is not sounds has an the, uh, a bad denomination, like let, let's say Ra, Resh, Ein, just the, an example, 270. Then the editor makes, uh, uh, changes these, the, these uh, letters I mean, changes the places. So, in place of to say Ra, Resh, Resh, Ayn, 270, the page Resh, A, Ayn, so Resh, Ayn, this is the page 270. He, he makes it the page uh, uh, Ayn, Resh. See, this is a special way in order to avoid. Uh, adding in the world uh, sounds or words and words are have power uh, that belong to the other side. Uh, so the page Tet Vav fifteen. The text of the Zohar, and we are studying the new Ot, Ot, Het. Line 1. So we have learned at the last lesson the name Mi. The name me that created the Eile zone, and me we have learned this is Yishtut, and me he gave us the positioning of this me. That this me, name me, is so as he said the uh, look at is. It is uh, in the uh, next, next uh, no, uh, two pages before. In the Zohar line 4, somewhere in the middle, he says, Mi, Ahu, Mi, De Ikra, Mi, Kse, Hashamayim, Eila. The 
how how did we say this? Kse, uh, end, the end, far end, far end of the Shamaim, and Shamaim is the heaven or zero beam above from above. So it 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 is uh, the lower boundary of the Yeshut and the higher boundary of the, the ceiling, as it were, as it were, of the uh, the Iran pin. Maybe in English they, there is another word, but I don't, it doesn't sound to me uh, proper. Maybe it's a good one, it's a uh, uh, they say it, uh, this uh, far far end is they say it, extremity. Yeah, an official translation I see, but maybe. But it's uh, the line one. Ot het we eat achra letata we ikre. Ma Ma ben hai le hai Ela kadma Tve Setim a De ikre mi Kaima le shila Kivan De shal barnash U me pash pesh leis takla. The next page. Uh, the next page is Tet Zain. Tet Zain is sixteen. And also here, look. At this uh, page is also here Tet Zion. Doesn't matter that we are in the middle of the pasuk. We see well, we see something, and then we explain this. Doesn't matter. So Tet, tet Zion. Look, Tet Zion is sixteen. Page Tet Zion sixteen. Tet is nine, and Zion is seven sixteen. Here is the same story. Normally it must be Yud Vav, but Yud Vav are also two letters of the holy name Havaya Yud Kei Vav Kei. The page Tet Zayin, the first line, Ole Menada, Mi Darga Le Darga. Ad sof kol dargin kivan de mate taman ma ma yadat tvei ma istakalta ma pishpashta pishpashta ha kula satim kede kadmita point we are returning to the previous page. Tet Vav, the line one, Ot Het Eight. Remember that this Ot and also actually the um, from the beginning of this. Mamar, this Mamar is uh, is actually the words who speaks in this Mamar is Rabbi Elazar, and Rabbi Elazar speaks about this. Uh, so, as you remember, it was his. Uh, Grasping of things, his madriga, his level of grasping things, and he sees 
uh, so this me uh, as creator of the ale and now he he positions this he wants to to see how this positioning uh, of me and Ayla, how this um, influences the mohin, the light that uh, are received uh, by the Ayla. Uh, the line one. We eat Ahra Litata. And he's going on with this positioning. The upper level, the upper far end, he already, he had already uh, defined. And now he speaks further. We eat Akhra Litata, and there is another one, another, another far end. Litata uh, below Ve ma, and uh, it, the name of it is ma, mem, hey, and ma is in Hebrew uh, a question, what? Ma ben hai le hai, and he asks, what is between this and this? This is in the in the language. What means that means what is the difference between this and this? But the language of the Torah sages of, is a very very is very uh, laconic. It's very short uh, and compact. So he says. Ma ben hai lehai. What is the difference between this and another one? And look how he says also here how the exp expression in Hebrew is. Ben hai lehai. Between this and this. We would say between this and another one. Also here we see the language that not to provoke other uh, bad powers to be drawn, to be attracted, to be drawn down unnecessary, unnecessarily. Because uh, normally it would be, one would say, what is the difference between this and another one? Another is already Acher. The name of it is Acher. And Acher, this is the Sitra Acher. Why? We, would, we will study this later in uh, the Otiyot of Rava Menuna Saba in a, a tremendous um, um, piece, masterpiece of the Zohar, that Otiyot, the letters of Rava Menuna Saba. Then we will see that Acher is uh, the word Acher, another one, is the contrary opposite of Echad. It is written in the same way, only at the, the end letter is not Dalet, but Resh. How it comes, we will see. The, hmm? Opposite, yeah, the opposite each other. So one is Acher, another one, and another one, and the other word is Echad, Aleph, Chet, Dalet. How it comes, we will learn, but the principle important, where is very important that you know these principles. Ma ben hai lehai, what is the difference between this one and another one? Ela kadma kadma, but he says the first one, the previous one. He says 
to Satim A is a concealed the ikre me that is called me kai malashila is stands to be stands to receive the uh, question literally st- stands for the question but i say it stands for to receive the question Kivan de Shal Barnash because uh, a, 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 a human being, a man, Barnash, Bar is son, Nash is man, this, uh, and this is the expression how the uh, the Aramaic, in the Aramaic of a, a person, like this, a person. Kevan de Shal Barnash, general, because uh, a, a person asks, um, um, and untersucht uh, and investigate in, and research and investigates le istakla in order to see the next page the first line ulemenade and to learn to know midarga le darga from the spiritual level to another spiritual level step by step Ad sof kol dargin, up till the end of all the uh, uh, levels. Kivan mati taman ma, because due to the fact that the name ma came to it, to it came to, came over there, literally. Or let's say better, that due to effect, to due to effect that he came to this a, a person who start, who learns who works on himself when he comes to there there to this place to this name Ma then he wonders himself Maya Dad what what can you know to Maista Kalta where to look at Ma Peshpashtal what to investigate Ah Kula Satim Kedekadmita Behold everything is concealed as beforehand as before point this is the conclusion of this of uh, Rav, Rabbi Elazar at the point that we are studying now again this is always what we are studying this is the this is the point of his uh, grasping his level and not that the Zohar tells us uh, a story of someone who is already at the highest trap, at the highest level, and then he tells us from his higher position uh, how to get over there. The Zohar is built up uh, as a living book, a living story a living uh, every every episode is living episode so this is uh, the moment at which uh, Rabbi, Rabbi Lazar saw this that this what he tells us and and because we are studying 
the, at, the, at this moment, and we don't know uh, more than we uh, add ourselves, as it were, to the what we are studying, bringing us in conformity with what we are studying, and we're getting the same uh, from the same level where Rabbi Elazar is speaking now. We get from there Ormakiv. The Ormakiv from that place. Someone closer, someone further, doesn't matter. Uh, we are turning back to the previous page. The page that Vav 15. Hasulam, the right column, the line 1. The reference God had we eat Ahara Litata Vihule. God had eight we eat Ahra and there is another one below Vihule ETC Double point Vyesh Aher You see what we can you can say okay but Look at this. Here he uses a word Akhra, another one. Why here is allowed to say another one, Akher. And in that case when we when he said what is the difference between this and this, they don't use it. It is like this. When it is the difference between this and this, probably you see already the difference between this and this. This is the Yetzer difference, Yetzer Atov, Yetzer Ara. Maybe this is suggestion why they express it in this way. But look, two, or, uh, sorry, uh, one, line one, after the double point. Vyesh Acher to Lemata. Vinikrama. And there is another one. This is this word Acher. That the Torah, Torah uh, sages avoid very often to say, but when it, is, when it is obvious, then they say. When they can't do it in another way, then they use this word. What is possible is possible. There is also a principle from Tom, Tom, what is possible is possible, what is not possible is not possible. Then we they use it normally. And there is another one below. To Vinikra Ma. Another far end. And the name of it is, is called Ma. Point. Ma ben ze le ze. What is the difference between them? Between this and another one. Point. Umi shiv. Three. Ela harishon asatu. Shedikra mi. No heget bo fo shila kivan shisha ala adam vihakar leistakel viladat five mi madriga le madriga ad sof kola madrigod shu six malchut. Ахар шихигия шама гу ма point and this the the end of this is questioning 
Oh my point. Look what he says. Umeshiv and he answers. Three. Ela Arishon Asatum but the first one the conceal the first the concealed one concealed one she nikra me who is called me no heged bo for shila the there is a No, the the uh, there is a, there is a question that applies to 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 to, to, to this name to it applies. No heg is no no heg is applied. For Kivan Shesha Al Adam. Due to the fact that um, the man, he says, see, the man ask, asked Vehakar and investigated Listakel in order to see Veladat and to know five Mi Madriga, the Madriga, from uh, level to level. Look what he says. At so kola madrigot up till the end of all the levels. And now look what he says. Uh, what he, what Yehuda, uh, what Hasulam uh, adds. Shehu malchut that this is malchut. So he goes from up to, to up to down. Up, yeah. Uh, f- uh, huh? Up to down, so he speaks about not the uh, the the person goes from one level to another level. Look, it's very it's very interesting. But to go, but investigates and uh, in order to know uh, how it works, how it from one level to another level, level downwards to the malchut. Ahar Shahigia Shama after he reaches that place, Shama over there, who Ma is what? You see, this is the place Ma, but st- but it is also a, a, a questioning, a wonder. He wonders. A person wonders who in- investigates this. He wonders. Ma, what is that? Point. Shapirusho. Seven. Maya dat. Maya dat. Ma istakalta. Ma hekarta. Hakarta. Halo hakol eight. Satum kvat hila. Shapiro showed that this means in the words of this person who who investigates this. Ma seven, maya data. What is what is to know? Ma histakalta. Or what? What did you know? What maista What? Uh, what did you look at? Maha What did you investigate? Halo hakol satum kvadhila. Everything is, uh, namely. Uh, concealed as before point me fashpesh pirusho hakar 
he explains us a word. This word from this author, Mephashpesh, it is not uh, a difficult word. Very often he, if he explains uh, words, the meaning of words, normally it is uh, difficult. It's something. Mephashpesh, Mephashpesh is not so, is not so difficult. Even in the modern modern Hebrew, they use it. Mephashpesh means uh, uh, investigate. Point. And you and Hasulam brings these exp- explanations sometimes from words, and then he gives the source from where he knows this. Ki nain hakar mitargem mefashpesh, because a word hakar from the book of Yov, in English probably it is Yov, but in Hebrew it is Yov. Uh, he translates this Pishpesh uh, in the past, past, past tense. Ten. Okay, we have now uh, had the translation of this word. And now, biur hadvarim ten. Anukva de zeiranpin. Bihyota eleven in hazeiranpin. Panim be panim, nikret gam, hanukva bashem ma twelve kmo azeiran pin, vehi nifhenet, lifhenat ketsei hashamayim thirteen devetata, kihi so of kol dargin umesayemet et fourteen ha atzilut vinimtsa aziran pin anikra shamayim omede ben fifteen ha yishsu Anikra kitsei ha shamayim le eila uven hanukva sixteen. Anikra kitsei ha shamayim le tata point. Ten. Beyura dvarim. The expan- explanation of word. Very try to listen uh, as in a simple way. The more simple you you listen, the more simple you are within yourself. The easier you will follow you will receive the spirituality this is why the spirituality is so difficult because one wants to grasp this this with power with might and it doesn't work like this um this is why there are two way two ways actually two steps to learn the real ruhaniyut the spirituality from one point it is uh, wisdom to get wisdom as it were they, they, they call it um, chokhmat 
Хохма, хохма, to get хохма, to get wisdom. And another, the complementary uh, study is to the хохмат, it's also a word, хохмат, that's the, the, the teaching of сихлут. And Actually, we can say it, the teaching of Sikhlut. Sikhlut com, comes has a, has two. Uh, the Sikhlut, Sikhlut is a word that is written like uh, Sechel. The Sechel is Sin, or like Shin, but Sin. Another point, another Nekuda is left. From the, in the letter Shin. It is letter Sin. Uh, Kaf and Lamet. Sechel. Yes? Sechel. And this means uh, understanding mind uh, also intellectuality. And look at this language, this uh, holy language. And if you, the first letter, sin, uh, how do you call it, change, you replace it by the letter sin, oh, sorry, by the letter samach, sorry, and this is this this uh, this is a legitimate way to to replace them one by another one in the old tradition actually in the Kabbalah. Then you get the opposite of this. Then you uh, Opposite, then you get the opposite of this. Because Sechel with, with Sin, with Sin, the letter Sin, is uh, understanding. Uh, uh, whilst the word, uh, the word with the Samach is pronounced in the same way, Sechel, and the noun is Sichlut, both of them, Sichlut, but this means, uh, how do you call it, domhead, uh, stupidity, oh, like this, we, maybe there is another word for this, but like stupidity, like uh, the opposite, huh? Dom? Dom. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Dumb. Uh, just dumb. Uh, and this is very great thing that you uh, has a great hint. It is the same as it were, but only by changing one letter it is changed into the opposite meaning. And this is what I would I want to tell you that now that this is only in the Kabbalah. We can meet this in deep sources of the Zohar. That after the study of the deepest study of the of the wisdom of the Torah after that only after that only the one can be ready to learn also the Chochmat Sichlut the, the wisdom of uh, stupidity, as it were.
Not stupidity, just what we see somewhere outside, but stupidity in a higher way. This is like to receive the light above all the understanding, above and all the abilities, the, above all the uh, madrigot, the levels. And this is received because it is not yet, as it were, within my kilim, and the experience is, the experience is as at a, a, one experiences at, at this as as dumb as, as 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 stupidity. But this is the highest way of the understanding, and this is the paradox. And from uh, I don't know, maybe I all I I apply it in my lessons of the Zohar. Slowly, slowly. Because this is the way how the uh, spirituality works. From one point it is uh, the ultimate uh, concentration. This is also what I ask, I can't say demand, but I ask my students at the Zohar lesson, which I give in, uh, to my Dutch students, Dutch Belgian students, that I ask them to try to get to install themselves to get the ultimate possible concentration at the moment. But together with this, uh, on the other side, one must have, whilst one applies at the same moment, when one applies the ultimate concentration, one must be also freed look very of very 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 a great secret one must be also at the same time be freed from any uh, grasping from any uh, involvement in uh, uh, as it were any form of connection to something else. To be completely free. And free means that to be completely, uh, to trust completely that f- from above they, you will be uh, protected they will lead you. You don't need any zorchen, uh, any uh, huh? any any uh, worry. And this is together with the uh, with the absolute possible concentration. Yeah, Sur- surrender. Very 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 good. From one, from another side, you have the completely surrender, and this you must co- must combine in one. How it's possible? You can't be in two places in in one at one moment. In the spirituality, you can. How? We will you, just by learning. You will learn it. Like children, they uh, study, they're just learning from uh, just what they are by, by playing. But we are, by studying carefully, we will learn this uh, way of study that uh, 
Rabbi Menuna Saba applied the greatest, one of the greatest uh, ever. He applied this only to the selected group of Kabbalists of the school of Rabbi, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. He taught them this Chochmat Sichlut. Because they already have deserved this. Have deserved this. But step by step. By step. Uh, ten. Biyura Dvarim. The explanation of words. Hanukva Dezeiran Pin. The Nukva of the Zeiran Pin. Behyota Eleven im as a year and pin panim ba panim. When she is with the year and pin, panim ba panim, uh, face to face. So when both have got loot, fully got loot, nikret gam hanukva, then also the nukva is called. In the name Ma why he says also probably he she probably he he it, this applies to the name of the Nukwa she has the also then the name another name Ma twelve look ah look what he says. Why it is why he says Ma? Because he said she is called in, in this in this position when she stands uh, face to face with the Zeran P. That means that she has the same the same uh, state as the Zeran P. She is as it were equal to him. Then she is also called in the name Ma. Twelve kmo zeir kmo zeiran pin like zeiran pin, like the zeiran pin because this zeiran pin is called ma. Ma is the gematria of fifth uh, of forty five. Sorry, mem is forty and hey is five. This is the the filling of the gematria yud k vav k with the letter Aleph. In, the, in, the, in, in this way, it is Yud. Yes? Yud. Fu, uh, fully, you write this Yud, the name Yud, and then uh, He, Aleph, and then Vav, Aleph, Vav, and He, Aleph, and the first is Yud, of course, Yud, uh, Yud, Vav, Dalet. Then the Gematria will be Ma. And Ma is also, Mem, He is 45, is also the Gematria of Adam. Aleph, Dalet, Mem is also 45. Vihi, Nivnet, Live. Because she is like him, and this is why she also has the name Ma. Vehi nivne nivchenet, sorry, vehi nivchenet, livchenat ketsei ashamayim, and she is considered as the aspect of ketsei ashamayim deletata. Oh, look what he says. That she is then considered as the uh, far end of the Shamayim, of the heaven from below. Because the heaven is the Zirandin. So the far end of the below below far end 
of the Zayir and Bin. So, from that, from then, from that point, and below, starts the Nukva. Kihi sof kol dargin, because she, the Nukva, is the end of all dargin, of all the levels, all spiritual levels. Umisayemet at fourteen hat salute, and she ends uh, the hat salute. Fourteen winim tsa, and therefore, as the iron pin, and the zero, the zero pin, and he crash shamayim, that is called shamayim, the heaven, omed stands, so he positions now the zero pin stands. Ben fifteen hayish sud between the yish sud, ani kraktsa shamayim laele, which yish sud is called the far end of the heaven from above. Uvena nukva and between the nukva sixteen, ani kra that is that she the which nukva is that the, she is called. Ktsea shamayim letata, the far end of the heaven below. So, try to position this to develop your, more and more develop your spiritual imagination. This is no, uh, this is not prohibited. To the imagination, to have imagination, spiritual imagination. This is everything. This is nothing wrong with that. Uh, how, 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 what is it news here? Right? In it, uh, angles. Curious. Oh, curiosity. The look. It is a very good trait. The curiosity. Also, when you are studying, or maybe as especially when you are studying the spirituality, you must be curious. In everything, actually, what you are studying, you must be curious. You have, you must uh, develop this this trait in yourself. By curiosity, you make yourself open for things. Of course, the curiosity can be can have an, a bad influence. If someone very curious, you can. But but cur- by curiosity, you you you. If you apply the curiosity, if you just stimulate your cur- curiosity, then you will be protected from the. Uh, uh, Indifference, yeah, indif- indifference. No, no. Uh, when indifference, you will be protected from the indifference. And this is uh, the terrible thing. The most terrible thing in the world is indifference. The so it's good to be curious in the spirituality. And this is why this, and together with curiosity, it is also good to develop your spiritual imagination. You see, spiritual imagination means that not, uh, God forbid, that you place some image between your inner place and the tree of life. But you see the tree of life in the way that you can see. What he also now 
says to, to us, the Zohar speaks about this, the higher far end, the lower far end, and this try to uh, to make this image within yourself. This is the spiritual imagination. But not the, the, the pictures, not the drawings. The drawings which, which, we, are, which we give is only to, to know how to place it. But then uh, try to know the qualitative positions. What is the Yishud? His, its position, if it is above the the Zairanpin, what does it mean? Which qualities there over there are in the Yishud? And what it means below, below it means that this is the son of what is above, above is the father. So, relations between them, and not just uh, above and above and below it means it is a, a spiritual a spiritual spiritual terminology in quality by quality above and below 16 after the point with the shomer kevan de shal bar Seventeen nash. Omifash, omifash pesh. Leistakla, double point. Vezesho mer, and this is what the Zohar says. Kivan de shal bar nash. Because a man, the man, actually a man. Just a man. Because I don't see uh, the definite article. Uh, because a man asks 17 umifash pesh and uh, investigates least takla in order to see the word is takla is comes from the word uh, also in Hebrew, istaklut or leistakel, leistakel, the same, uh, the same uh, meaning, and the same, like the, the same way, the same uh, shoresh, the same root. And the difference is great in when you say Listakel to see and Lirot to see, like Ra, Resh Al. This is the Lirot different. Listakel. Listake, means to look very carefully in order to uh, to grasp something from there from what you from what you're looking at and more more from more by the inner uh, seeing whilst the lirot is to see with your eyes So, you see, very special uh, expression, step, step by step, pay attention to, try to pay attention to everything. The more you study, the, the more you will, uh, the deeper you will look at every word. Double point. Lis, Lis, Takla, Hain, 18, Azivug de Abawima Nhanikra Istaklut 
Абавиима З Базе Алидей Найнтин Алиятам Лерош Д Арихан Пин Ше Аз Габина Хозерет Лекабель Твенти Гарат Ахохма Бешвил Азом Ки Афилу Иш Суд Твенти Ван Шехем Газат Дебина Эйнам Црихим Легарат Твенти Тю Ахохма Лецорех Ацмам Ки Мифхинат Ацмам Домим Твенти Сри Газат Дебина Эль Гагар Шелахем Вейнам Низгаким Твенти Фо Лекабель Хохма Пойнт From every moment like this You, you can learn. Now he says great things that are of enormous importance because in such a way always we get uh, mochin, the light. Seventeen. Leistakla, the word to, uh, to look attentive to each other. Hain means twenty, twenty, sorry, nine, sorry, what I say, eighteen. That is, Hazivuk de Abuima. You see, this is Zivuk of Abuima. Feminine, masculine and feminine. Аникра истаклут абовима зебазе, that is called the attentive looking, watching uh, of абовима each other. This is the zivug. Аридей алиятам. This is the spiritual zivug. One gives light and another one receives the light. Алидей найнтин алиятам due to their rising up le rosh the arihan pin to the rosh of the arihan pin she az habina chuzeret lekabel harat chokma then that then habina turns back or again we can say comes Likabel Harat to receive the shining twenty of the Chochma Bishvil Hazon for the Zon look Bina always does this because this is also this is her nature uh, this is why the Zon always apply Uh, to this trait of the Bina. They came from the Bina and they always can rely upon Bina. Kiafilu Yishsut, look, because even the Yishsut, 21 Shahem, Azad de Bina, that they are Azad de Bina. Einam Tsrikim Learad Chochma, they don't need, look, What he says, they don't need the shining of the Chochma for themselves. We know that the Abu Yima, the higher Abu Yima, the three first Sfirot, or the Abu Yima, the higher Abu Yima, they are, uh, they prefer the Chasadim, Kihafetz Chesed, who, because they want Chasadim, they don't want Chochma. They are gar, they don't want, but they don't want chokhmah. But 
he, what he says to us is also the Zat of the Bina that normally need uh, the Chokhmah. But due to, but as for them, for their own needs, they don't need the shining of the Chokhmah, they are Bina. They don't need the Chokhmah, the shining of the Chokhmah for themselves. Because out of the aspect because out of the aspect of themselves, literally I translated. Domim twenty three Bina resemble the Zat of the Bina resemble Ela Gar Shalahem resemble the Gar of the Bina. This is Bina. They don't they don't have the need to receive Chokhmah. Point. Twenty four after the point. Ela Baet Shahazon Olim Leman twenty five Liyishud. Mit orarim ayish sud bishvilam la lot twenty six le rosh de arihan pin ulekabel chokma. Look, you see, this is the explanation. Or many many times in the Zohar, he will explain this again and again in different in different uh, ways. You know that not in different, but mean it mean. I mean that additional with additional components, additional explanations by the by in the way that uh, to give us the fully understanding of how it works in the spirituality. Aval Gamazon Einam twenty seven. Olim Liman Liyishud Rak Aridei Gealat Man Twenty Four Mivnei Adam Hatachtonim El Hazon Point. Look what he says. Aval Gama Zon, but also the Zon. So the zone of the, of the Atsilut. Now we're speaking about the zone of the Atsilut. But he speaks in generally, look. But also the zone themselves. A nam 27 Olim Leman da don't rise up, up as man uh, to Yishud. Uh, or better to say it in the, uh, not in the, in, because here is the uh, negation in the negation form, but we do it, we do it in a, how do you call it in the festive in the zin in the um. Yeah, in the in the just in the in the in, in, look aval again aval gam hazon, but also zon the zon the ziram pin nukla receive confirming way receive or better no not not receive but all but also the zon the rise up as man or do the man rising up to the Yishud only man only look what he says only by due to due to the rising of the man twenty eight Mivne Adam 
by the lower uh, human beings, by uh, by a person, by persons, elazum, to the zone. What does it mean? That also the zone doesn't uh, bring doesn't bring ab- above the man. On its on his on on them on them all. They can't do this. They do it only when the the human beings, when the persons here on earth uh, rise up, the man to them. Then they do it like the same way, like uh, their relation. Of zone with the Abuima. Look at this is very important point that the zone because the zone were born by Abuima by Bina, better to say, in the same way, and this is why they can rely upon the Bina. In the same way, are uh, uh, human beings, uh, a, a man, the man, uh, the mankind, every man is born, huh? Um, yeah, just, yeah, men are uh, born by the zone. The zone are the father and mother of men. This is why men can always rely upon the zone. Only the zone can't give uh, men the mud, the light, the what they ask from from them. But the zone instead takes this mud and uh, rises up to the Hishsu, to the Bina. Brings this to the Bina. And to the lower Bina, to the seven, uh, to the to the Zat of the Bina, to the seven lower Sphirot of the Bina. And then the Yishsu connects himself with the upper bina with the upper wima, and then the so this rising everything goes further rises one step higher and higher and the bina the higher bina oh okay we can say it bina because it's now one bina Yishud connects it himself with the Abuima, and there is then one bina that, that exists then of ten spherot, and this bina then returns to the head of the Arihantin. This is of course the bina of the Abuima, because they are from the Rosh, and then the Abu the bina. Take, uh, gets the Chochma from the head of the Arihan Pin because over there is only Chochma and the Bina gets of, of course Chochma of the Bina because she is Bina she gets Chochma but she is Bina so she and this is enough and she gives this Chochma to the uh, to the zone and the zone then the zone give it to to the to men or to someone who uh, was initiated this rising up of the man twenty. Okay, we are standing 28 after the point. 
באופן שנשמות 29 בני אדם עולות למען אל הזון ואז עולים תתי הזון למען אל הישות ואז עולים הישות תתי וואן לארי חנפין ונעשים שם פרצוף אחד עם אבו ואימא תתי טו אליין ואז מסתכלים אבו ואימא זה בזה וממשיכים תתי סרי חוכמה בשביל הזון פוינט Twenty-eight after the point. Look how many times I have had this from different uh, sources, also from Zohar, from other, th- other things. But I feel as if I, for the first time, I receive this. This is what also what I call to be simple. Not say to yourself, "Oh, I, I had already this," or even the, from, from within yourself, don't, you don't say it, but with, within yourself you already know, "Oh, yeah, well, I know this." This doesn't help in the spirituality. You must know you are getting this, you are eating this. This is like the manna from the heaven, what we are, what we are getting. After the lesson, I, I feel that I have, I have eaten. My neshama, my soul, has eaten already, is satisfied. And if I say, if, if my neshama would say, uh, when she learns something, and then she learns something that she already has, have had all about this and should she sh- should should she say she say that oh this I know this I know then at the end she would be hungry yes because this is like this is like uh, when you get on your table uh, all different kinds of food and you look at the Ravioli, ravioli, and you say, yeah, I know ravioli. Oh, I, I've eaten this many times. I you look at the cake, you say, oh, I know the cake. And you know, you look at the beef. You say, yeah, yeah, I've eaten this many times. You would not do it. You would, even you know this, you would eat it. Uh... Again and again, because every even every time it will be not the same beef, not the same cake, etc. The same is spiritual in the spiritual in the eating of the spiritual. It is not our head that must be involved only only our head that must be involved in the. spiritual study what is wanted from us is eating eat this and drink the spirituality and only this is only this helps but often 28 in the way she נשמות בני אדם. That this, this soul, that the נשמות, the souls of men, עולות למען אל הזון, rise up man, for man, to the zon. Or they can, you can say, rise up the man to, to the zon. 
Whereas and then, if you hear if you hear uh, as as or then, it means the next stage in the causality. The spiritual action that is fo- fo- that follows from the previous one, and the previous one is that the man rise up the man to the zone. Whereas and then Olim Theti Azon the zone rise up of rise as rise up the man El Yirsu to the Yirsu Whereas Olim Hayirsu and then Again, then you see, then again, next stage. Whereas and then, Olima Yishsut, the Yishsut, rise up 31. Le Arihan Pin, to the Arihan Pin. You see, he, of course, he, they rise uh, to Arihan Pin, but first they connect themselves to the higher Bina. Otherwise, they could, can't rise up to the Arihan Pin, it means when he says also the Arihan Pin, that Yishsut rises up to the Arihan Pin. It means, of course, to the Rosh of the Arihan Pin. He doesn't say it again and, and again. Sometimes he, he gives it again, he precisely says, but now we see, he says that the Yishsut Rise up, then rise, the ish should rise up to the Arihan pin. Actually, the ish should uh, first connect themselves with the upper um, bina. So always look at these things and make the connections. Uh, lay the connections between what you are, you are studying. Vinasim Shampar Oh, now he says this. And they are becoming over the one part suf im abuima. Elayim. With the higher abuima. Exactly how it's how it's is going, we will study step by step. Thirty two. First Global, how it works. You must know how it works. And then, step by step, the details. Whereas, and then, again, you see, as, 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 then, then, then. And whereas, Mr. Klim, Abu Yima, Zeba, Zeba. And then, Abu Yima, look at each other. Attentive look at each other. Umam Shihim, and they draw uh, down the 33, the Chochma Bishvil Hazon for the Zon. The word Histaklut, look, uh, with all this, uh, with all its forms, means the Zivug. Okay? Look. Looking, when we use in the Kabbalah word istaklut, or we like this mistaklim, that they are looking at each other, means uh, zivug. And usually, normally, just I say to you, this applies to the zivug in the head. The zivug in the head is when the, when you see this word istaklut, normally it is a hint, I give you a hint, that this is in the head. The zivug that place takes place in the head. Zivug that it takes place in the head is called spiritual zivug. Yeah, because why it is spiritual? Because zivug because it is in the head, it is ideas, 
like ideas this is not not yet doesn't didn't get yet the form of a body another word of this is also they use it the kisses yeah the same because it is in the head it is but when it, it comes to the body and the body is you know this is the yeso then this is the zivuk that takes place through the yesodot of masculine and feminine zirampin and nukwa this is the bodily zivuk so this is the language what the that the kabbalists use uh, to express the spiritual uh, phenomena and spiritual actions. Uh, I think that we will not go further because then we will not be able to finish it at time. Yeah. General, yes, yes, global. When I say global, of course, it is general. Sometimes I use this um, expression. Then it is general, in general way. Okay. Um, this is what we study now, the position of the Rabbi Elazar, what he saw, what he could see, in uh, uh, in the in this uh, level at this level what we what is called uh, ma that when someone comes to this ma you see look it is not only always it is not only looking above from the lower from a lower level to a higher level. It is also another, there's also a way to look from uh, uh, up to down. That means um, we have kilim. We have five kilim or ten kilim, we can say. First, the light comes to the most thin kli, yeah, keter. Then, if, when there is more power, more correction, then comes another kli chokma, and the second li- and the light was first. When we have kli only keter, then is the light comes nefesh, the lowest light, then we have Chochma, we have another light, Ruach comes inside. So this is also the way how to go from above, down, when we are speaking about the Kilim, and also the position, uh, we can say, in the world, what he says also in that salute, when we go down to uh, Along to the along the levels levels of the absolute, then we come uh, definitely to the last point of the world absolute. This is the Malchut or Nukwa, and when she prepares herself and when she comes to the Zivuk with Panim de Panim, or actually Panim de Panim. Uh, with Ziran Pin, what does it mean? When that means that he has ten spherot and she has ten spherot. Normally, when they have, uh, when they are standing, standing normally in the katnut, he has uh, uh, only kilim. Uh, Chabad Hagat and the Kilim Nihi 
not I mean they are, they are, they are so what it doesn't mean that he doesn't have it they have the nehi he has only in his panim we we count only what is in the panim we can say also what is in the achoraim but only we speaking about achoraim only when they already uh, correct it but normally he has in the Atsilut, only what? The Yerampin. Chabad, Chagat, of the Kilim. And the Nukwa has only a Keter of the in the Atsilut. As we have learned in the Ma'amar Shur HaShoshana. So, the, the three Sfirot of the Yerampin. Netzah, what is sought? And the ninth spherot of the Nukva are in the Achoraim, uh, doesn't, doesn't have the light in the Katnut. In the Katnut is when they are only standing Ach uh, Ach, Achor Achor, back to back. We will study this. But then they can't make Zivuk in such a, such a way. They are protected by the Bina, and but they can't. They are uh, small one. Smalls can't have uh, zivuk to produce the uh, uh, sounds and uh, so. Then the the the, the state panim the panim means that the state when the Iran bean rises up, his nihi. And then he has ten spherot and the nukva rises up here nine lower spherot and then she has ten spherot. This is the, the state panim de panim.